What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Ranger from Elite Tuner. I'm on my way now to my house. Uh, I'm getting excited because I just got the Faribault tune through email and I also got the freaking Flash Pro today. The Flash Pro got in today and I can't wait to install it. So I'm on my way home now. I'm gonna go ahead and install the Flash Pro and then uh, we're gonna tune the car and I'm gonna show you guys a little process of how we do that. And then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do a test drive and see how far we could get this horsepower range in this car. I cannot wait to show you guys. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? So we are now in a Type R, just started it up. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we have. Right here we have the Han Data Can Gateway. This is what's gonna um, bypass um, so we could go ahead and flash the Flash Pro right here, which I just got in the mail. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. And in the back over here, we have our floor mats, which for some reason, when I bought the car, Honda gave me some inside floor mats. So we're on our way to the shop right now. And we are going to uh, go ahead and install this right now. See you guys at the shop. All right guys, so we just got to the shop. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the cars that we have here at the shop. So you guys could, um, get familiarized with it but uh this is the car that today we're going to be focus on focusing on and we're going to be tuning this we try to get like 380 400 horsepower depending on what the tune is going to give us we'll see let's go let's go show you guys what we got here walking in here is jdm heaven we shared this garage with um jap stars we got number eight in the world civic type r look at this crazy looking freaking odyssey which is ridiculous right hand drive by the way over here we have a skyline r34 it's not the gtr we got another skyline up there and here is another skyline there's your GTR up there. And we also have this other Skyline. So most of these cars are for sale. So if you guys are looking for a imported car, make sure you guys uh, send us a DM, send us a message. Make sure you guys follow Japstars. Um, he's the one that imported all these cars at the shop. But we're gonna go ahead and go back to the car and we're gonna go ahead and tune this car to see what we could get out of it. Let's go. All right, guys, so right now we're in the car. We downloaded the latest beta um, version of uh, the Honda Data Flash Pro, which is connected right here. And uh, if you guys don't already know, it's connected to the OBD right there. So right now I'm waiting for this to go ahead and finish installing. And we're going to go ahead and put the jailbreak in. Uh, and the way you do this, I'm going to link uh, a video below from Honda itself. So this way you could get a better understanding of how to do it. But I believe all you have to do is take this panel right here. And there's a couple things that you have to take out. You put it in there and then you buy the instant tune from Honda. And we'll go ahead and uh, make things happen from there. With that being said, let me go ahead and finish up the update here. And I'll get back to, with you guys in a few. All right, guys, for the jailbreak. It looks very simple from what I've done so far, but I'm going to show you guys what I did. So all I did was take this panel off where you have to do this pull from the bottom. It comes right off. There's two little uh, connectors here. You take this one off and you take this one off. It comes right out. And then there's another one right up here. Let me see if I can see it right there, which is gray. I took that off of there and I connected the Honda to CAN gateway. From there, you're gonna connect your Flash Pro to your OBD. Flash Pro's right there, and it gets connected to your computer. So, I'm gonna go to the next step, and I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing next. All right, guys, so once you guys are done registering your uh, Flash Pro, make sure you guys hit Purchase Jailbreak. What that's gonna do is gonna bring you to this page over here. You're gonna purchase the Instant Jailbreak for $250. And then you're going to install it to your computer. It should take no more than 30 seconds to do. So after you do that, you're going to place your order. They're going to give you order number. And you're going to go ahead and put instant jailbreak. Once that happens, it shouldn't take too long. 
and after that all you have to do is take off your instant jailbreak plug this back in plug in your two uh, little connectors here and go on and do your regular um, the regular way you go ahead and install a Honda if you guys need a link I'll definitely put a link in the description below so you guys can have some sort of idea of how to do that I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that in this I'm just gonna show you guys how to do the jailbreak so you can flash your flash pro all right so after you put everything back together put the clips on you take your um your gateway off um all you have to do is turn on the car and you're gonna go ahead and drive around around the block a few times until all these crazy lights go away and then once these these lights all go away um that's what i'm gonna do at least i'm gonna go ahead and flash the um the car with the favorable tune with that being said this little thing right here could be used over and over again in different cars so if you guys um need one of these you could get one from Honda, and you don't have to bring in your ecu to whoever it is that needs to do it so they could jailbreak it this right here will do the trick just like the way i showed you guys and all you have to do is uh buy the instant jailbreak like i showed you guys in the video um but you could continue to use this with your friends and stuff like that which is a good little tool to have um but you're gonna have a whole bunch of lights we're gonna go ahead and give this uh thing around the block and see if we could get these lights to go off and then uh go ahead and flash the variable tune on it and see if we could make this monster to hit close to 400 i'm not sure if it would hit 400 right now it's like 57 degrees and i'm gonna go ahead and see if uh unit 12 motoring uh will be able to dyno the car so um so that's the plan we're gonna go ahead and dyno the car to see how much it's gonna be producing in terms of power and i'm gonna show you guys a video of that that's gonna be a separate video uh, where we're gonna be at uh unit 12 motoring which is literally that's my shop over there and unit 12 motoring is literally right there so as you guys um know uh, my goal is to make this at least 400 horsepower and we'll go from there i believe that's what we needed to do let's see i'm gonna shut off the car real quick and let's see if this is all we needed to do a little wet and around the block to see if uh if all these crazy codes uh will come off i'm still gonna have one code uh which is gonna be the emissions that's because i have a a catalyst downpipe a pr catalyst downpipe so that's gonna go away so all the codes are gone so now i'm gonna go back to the shop this way i don't have to leave on uh, the shop which is great usually you have to drive a lot longer than that which um it's crazy but this almost instantly i just went around the block so now i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the shop and flash the car all right guys so we're back in the car we got the hound that uh, plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and find the file from parable and i think this is pretty simple you just hit file you hit open uh, you go to your desktop or wherever it is that you put it at right here i got the parable tune right here and that you hit open and i believe all you have to do is hit this button right there and you should be able to go ahead and tune your car so the flash pro is not associated with the ecu do you want to lock the flash pro to ecu make sure it's locked hit yes uh hit yes hit okay so it's locking it to the ecu and um once that happens you should be able to um just hit this button right here cannot upload the flash pro check that you have the latest version from honda the website which i do all right so all i needed to do was uh basically just get out of the application and went back in and right now it is flashing the ecu so we're gonna go ahead and not bore you with this and uh once it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what else um, you have to do. But I think after that, you just shut your car off, shut it back on, and you go and your car's flash, and you should be having a few more horsepower. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And the flash board does say that it's programming, which is a great uh, thing. But this was pretty pretty simple, guys. So if you guys want uh, to use this video as 
something that you could use to go ahead and flash your fk8 i believe it's only for 2020 that you'll be able to do this with but um correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below but make sure you guys subscribe and uh share this video with your fellow fk8 owners and uh we can't wait to see you guys at the next car shows that we'll be having uh which is going to be on december the 5th in arizona on february the 6th in las vegas and march the 6th it's going to be in california with that being said guys i will show you guys a new video with us uh dynoing the car and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some pulls and stuff like that i got the exhaust coming in very very soon i got the lowering springs coming in and i have the charge pipes which i have to still install with that being said the car is being flashed as we speak with the variable uh tune for the fk which is unreleased so i'm going to be testing it out if you guys want one uh if you guys want to test it out make sure you guys go to fairable.net or hit them up on instagram to see if maybe he could go ahead and send you guys an unreleased version of this but it's supposed to be really really good i had it in an si and the si was amazing 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 and uh i can't wait to test it on the fk8 see you guys i hope you guys found this video very informative see you guys in the next one make sure you guys share like and subscribe this video It'll be awesome i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so please help out the channel see you guys in the next one